Hi there, Blake. Uh, can you hear me all right? I can hear you great, Ron. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. This is animation. Are you ready? Uh, right, uh, uh, Blake. Uh, well, my name is, is Ron, Ron Clark, and I'm the owner of Chat and Spin Radio. I'll be doing the interviews, and we've got uh, Ian Johnson here, who's co-owner. He's driving the desk and fiddling with all the buttons and things like that, and and uh, dealing with a few emails. Uh, yeah. Is that right? Yeah, that's what he's doing. Um, right, um, I've, I've got a few questions uh, two or three questions, anyway, to ask you before we start. Now, have you had an interview on Chat and Spin Radio before? I have not. This is my first. Uh, Chat and Spin, we've been broadcasting for eight and a half years. And um, just to let you know that we're not for profit station, the, the listening audience is Ian? 999,920. So there we are. Very good. So Congratulations. That's, so that's 80 to a million. Yeah. That's a million. Great. So there we are. A lot of hard work, you know. Yeah. So yeah. Um, what time is it there in the, in Michigan? Uh, it is 5.17 p.m. here. 5.17, right. So you're five hours, five hours behind us. Yeah. Okay. So How's the future going? The, the, the future of the station. The future of the world, because you're ahead of me in oh, time. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> right, yes. Yeah. We've, we've got finished. about half an hour, and then we finish. Yeah, so we've finished in half an hour. So, and, and the guy after you is from uh, Delaware, and he's he says he's a crisis specialist. <laughs> oh, wow. That's interesting. And we're in crisis as well, but he can deal with that. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'll let him do that, because I don't think I'd want to deal with crisis all day. No. <laughs> Are we ready? Are we on indeed, right here we go. Are we on time? No, <coughs> not yet. <coughs> two minutes. Two minutes and then we I'm still, I'm still eating my supper. <laughs> I can't eat without choking. I'll enjoy my sandwich while you're talking. Yes. What do we have tonight? Oh, chicken mayo tonight. Oh, that's all right. Courtesy of co-op. Mm-hmm. Under a minute. I'll try not to choke while I'm on air. <laughs> <laughs> not choke. <sure. laughs> Well, okay, here we go then. Right. Are you ready? Yes, we are. Here we go. Going live. Three, two, one. We're now live. And the time now on Chat and Spin Radio in the UK is 10.20 p.m. We've got our next guest on the line. Who's calling and where are you calling from? Well, first round, thank you so much for having me on Chat and Spin. I've been obsessed with the station ever since we first connected. Like I told you earlier, I especially love all the 80s music you play. So hello to everyone in the UK and beyond, but my name is Blake and I am a content creator and podcaster and excited to talk to you today. And you're in uh, Grand Rapids in Michigan. Yes, very good. Thank you. Grand Rapids, Michigan is where I'm from. Right, now um, you're a former senior business leader turn podcast home and youtuber so so just tell us a little bit about that and and uh, how it happened yeah so i spent the last 10 years approximately in senior leadership for companies like verizon comcast samsung i got a bachelor's degree i even went on to get an mba i did all the things you're supposed to do and then the well the pandemic happened right And a lot of people, uh, including myself, decided it was time to look at doing something else. So I decided I wanted to try to work for myself, much like you do. And now I do video production, video editing, and content creation online. Now, yes, and and you introduced people to a name and and reviewing uh, the name shows and, uh, and movies as well. Yeah, so I've got a gaming channel on YouTube. I do custom marketing videos for small businesses. But like you said, today I'd like to talk about my anime podcast and associated YouTube channel. So for people who are unfamiliar with anime, they may just think that it's Japanese cartoons. But really, it's an amazing art form out of Japan that anyone can enjoy. 
So our goal is to expose more people to anime. And if you don't mind, I'd like to say something briefly here about anime. Grandview Research recently did a market analysis about anime. And I'm quoting them here, but the global market, <clears throat> excuse me, the global market for anime was valued at $23.56 billion in 2021. And it's expected to grow to $48 billion by 2028. So anime, these this animation coming out of Japan is certainly growing and it's growing fast. And I think this is for a couple reasons. So first, like I said, anyone can find anime to enjoy. Ron, I bet I would bet a lot of money, all my money, that I could even find a Japanese animation that you would enjoy. So, I mean, reg anyone, regardless of how old you are, where you're from, what your background is. But if you've never watched anime before, once you get past the fact that it's animated, a lot of people are getting hooked. And that's why we're seeing this huge increase in the market value of it. The second reason I think anime is doing so well right now is I think a lot of people are becoming increasingly more disappointed with what Hollywood has been putting out. You know, everything's kind of done by committee and they're not taking a lot of risks right now. And to me, when you try to make everything for everyone, you end up capturing the imaginations of no one. So people are looking for new sources of entertainment and anime is there to pick up the slack. And again, that's why we're seeing these, this huge increase in, in market revenue. So my old uh, roommate from college, he goes by Merv on the show. He happens to be a, a published writer, and he even taught writing and rhetoric at a state university here in Michigan. So I've got to give him credit here real quick on the show. It was actually his idea to make it and try to get anime in front of as many people as possible. So we started recording podcasts. We started making videos under the name Animation, and that's one word, A-N-I-M-E-S-H-I-N, Animation. And uh, like I said, our goal is to expose more people to this amazing art form in a way that is accessible to people in the West. So it's coming from the East, but we want to talk about it and present it in a way that folks from the U.S. where I'm from or the U.K. where you're from in a way that would that makes sense and is understandable from a story perspective. So, Ron, that's what we've been doing for the past six months. And I'll be honest, I'm real happy with the results. And if your listeners check us out, I think they will be too. And now, now Blake, if, if anyone uh, wants to get in touch with you uh, re regarding the podcasting in general, yeah. They, 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 well, they, they would have to get in touch with you to, well, to join in, for instance. So, mm -hmm. how, would, how do people do that? How do they get in touch with you? Yeah, thank you, Ron, for asking that. So I'll give a few different ways. The easiest way, if anyone's familiar with Linktree, Linktree is a website that you can set up where you put all of your links to all of your different sites and podcasts and all that kind of stuff. So that's the best place to go because you'll find all of our links. It's L-I-N-K-T-R dot E-E -E forward slash animation. You can also search animation on YouTube and look for the, my, my co-host is also an artist. So if you look on YouTube for the, the purple hair, if you look animation and look for the purple hair, you'll find us there. Or really you can email us. That's fine too. It's animation show. So animation show at gmail.com and that works too. And how often do you hold the uh, broadcast? Yeah, we, we do it once a week at least. Uh, we've got a couple out this week, and sometimes we do more than one. But the podcast itself, the long-form podcast, we have one a week, comes out on Mondays. And then the videos, we take the podcast and condense that down into a shorter video, and that goes on YouTube once a week as well. Okay, then, uh, Blake. Now, is there anything else that you would like to mention to the listeners? Yes, I would. Thank you for asking. If you do visit our YouTube channel, I recommend starting with some of our shorter videos. That'll give you kind of an idea or a feel for our content and how it goes. Or if you want to dive right into the longer episodes on our audio podcast, 
We're on all the major platforms, Spotify, iTunes, we're on all of them. And we just released one about the movie Bell. Uh, it's a kind of a remake of Beauty and the Beast in an anime way. That's a really good one. I'm real proud of that one. So if you're interested in the podcast, start there. Okay, then, Blake. Well, thank you very much for coming on. And that was Blake on the line from Grand Rapids in Michigan in the USA. Thanks very much indeed. Oh, thank you so much, Ron. I really appreciate the opportunity. It's been a pleasure. Okay, guys, we're now off. All right, very good. Um, that, that was a good interview. Would you Thank like you. to come come back in April and do another interview? I would definitely like to come back in April and do right. another interview. Because well, I thought that was a good interview tonight. Thank you, Thank okay. you both. All right, then. Cheers now. All right. Bye. Have a great one. It's been a pleasure. Thanks. This is Animation.